What's going on everyone? Back again with another video. Today I want to cover a most recent mod update or upgrade, whichever you want to call it, on a 2014 Dodge Charger V6 SE model. Now if you don't know, the SE model is the base model which does not come with the 8.4 inch screen. It comes with the 4.2 or the 4.0 inch screen which is the small screen. Now, before I get started on this video, I wanted to definitely thank my boy James. You definitely hooked me up, man. James, if you're watching this thing, man, you know, I appreciate you, man. It was well worth the drive. My boy James definitely is the one that hooked me up with this thing. Uh, so, if you're trying to get it done or anything like that and you are in Atlanta, feel free to hit me up. I'll definitely put you in touch with James. You know, he can get you hooked up, get you going and all that stuff. Um, but without further ado, guys, let's get this let's get this video started. Now, like I said earlier, guys, this is a 2014 Dodge Charger SE V6 V6 SE model. Okay. Now I've seen some videos out there, people that are posting on YouTube that they've had. I think it was it was a 2011 Dodge Charger, and they basically did the same thing, but. It wasn't working for them. They had the functions, but it wasn't functioning. Let me put let me put it like that. It was like more of a show kind of thing versus it actually working. Mine is functioning. I'm not sure if they did theirs right. There's actually been two complaints, two videos I've seen with two complaints. There's another guy that did this similar video to mine that I'm doing right now. And um, he had a complaint that... Um, Someone also did theirs and they weren't getting like the sports function or anything like that. But that's we'll talk about that later, all right? But let's get started, guys. Now, start, start. Well, actually, I actually have that on one. No key detected. Well, there we go. As you can see, it says Dutch SRT. Now, as I said earlier, this is not an SRT, you know, it's a V6. It's cool that if you don't want that menu, you don't want it to say SRT on that screen menu right there, you don't have to have it. That's an option that you can put on there. It's a display that you can put on there. If you don't want it, you don't have to have it, you know, a lot of stuff. He can add it on there. He can remove it on from, from there. If you're looking at your screen, basically you got an upgraded screen. Now, I'm not saying that this is going to work for those of you that have a the smaller screen, the 4.2 or the 4.3 screen and screen. I don't know. I haven't seen a video of people having it on there. I don't know. It may or may not work. Don't quote me on that. You know, I could be wrong. Maybe it does work. Maybe it doesn't work. I don't know. But if you're looking at your screen, I basically upgraded mine, updated mine, you know, from the 4.2 inch or 4.3 to the bigger screen. Now, this is with the RB5 unit, which is the one with the nav system. It is not the RB2 unit. The RB2 unit does not give you the navigation system on it, which is why mine says nav on it right there. Okay, now if you're looking at your far right, yours will probably just have the settings bar. Now mine actually now says SRT and more. If you have an SRT car, Dodge, whatever it is, then you definitely don't need to be watching this video because you already have this thing and it does not apply to you. But feel free to hang around and watch. You might, you know, you might see something, you might be thinking about buying a V6 for your friend or yourself or whoever it may be, and you want to see if you can get some more stuff done to their car or anything like that. But anyway, let's go. Let's start over here, okay? Now, if I hit the back button, as you would do to get to your menu or your side button, wherever you want, basically, that's what you're, you're looking at your regular menu, right? So if I stroll up to turn off... I now have that SRT. Now you should not have a SRT. Let's zoom out in there. Let's see if I can get this thing to focus a little bit more. You will not have an SRT menu on yours unless you have an SRT car. You know, if you unless you have an SRT. So let's zoom back out. I hit the slide the the side button and all that stuff. I gotta have a lot more menus over here. Now I can actually now do my zero to sixty timer if I wanted to. There's a lot of other stuff that it can actually do. Um, I haven't got a chance to actually mess with all my settings, but breaking disc, cancel, I don't know what that is. I haven't played with it, but apparently you can lock your front brakes and do a burnout, which basically it'll lock your front brakes and unlock your back brakes by activating or touching two buttons. 
or holding two buttons, wherever it may be. And you can do a burnout. Now, once you push those buttons again or release those buttons again, it'll launch the car. Of course, you have to be careful when you do this. Don't be stupid and just do a burnout and lose control of your vehicle. I'm not telling you to go do a burnout. I haven't done a burnout on my vehicle since I got this because I have low profile tires on my car with 22 inch wheels. I'm not trying to burn money or anything like that. Now, if I wanted to do a burnout, I'll mess with that. But like I said, I just recently got this thing like Saturday. It's Monday. So I haven't actually had a chance to mess with all the settings and see what everything does or anything like that. But strolling up, as you can see, 0 to 60 time or anything like that if I wanted to. The SRT G-Force is actually showing you your weights on all that stuff. That's right there showing me. I'm in the driver's side. So as you can see, it's actually indicated right there that there's, there's a weight in there. Um, I think that's your 0 to 60. So yeah, back... That's the SRT menu right there. Now, coming to the front side. Uh, come on, camera. Coming to the front side, I mean the fun side, hit the SRT right there. Normally, yours would just say a settings on there. So it'll take you to this screen right here. Um, Back. Mine basically now has this SRT performance page on it. I mean, so if I hit that, it'll take me to my SRT performance. It doesn't destroy or delete your, your settings. It just moves it to a different location. You can still access it whenever you want, as you always had it before. It's all there. Door locks, series, you know, safety and all that stuff. That's all still there as it was always there. SRT. Hit that right there. It takes you to this screen right here, man. I love this screen. I love this display. Now, you can always change this display. There's options for it. You can change it. But the way I have mine, I love this display right now because mine, my car is a 2014 Dodge Charger, which is similar design to that. And my car is all black, which that is. You know, that's basically all black. I love that screen right there. Timer. If you did your 0 to 60 timer, it'll record everything over here. You won't have to hit the stop button. Now, your 0 to 60, as soon as you get to 60, it'll automatically automatically stop recording. I mean, yeah, and save that information over here. You won't have to have a stopwatch. You won't have to hit stop or anything like that. No, it'll do it for you. As you can see, I haven't done my 0 to 60, you know, and all that stuff. But it, it is saving information on all that stuff. Like my best, that's my best. Well, again, I haven't been playing with it. Last, my current is 0 and all that stuff. Um, G4 is basically showing you your weight and your steering wheel and all that stuff. If I turn my steering wheel, as you can see, it actually changes. Now, a video that I watched, again, this guy was running it on a 2011 or 2012 Dodge Charger. I believe it was a 2011 Dodge Charger. All this was not working. Like, it was just there, but none of it was working. So I'm not saying it's going to work for you. Maybe he did it wrong. You know, maybe his device was, you know functioning wrong i don't know don't quote me on that i don't know you might be lucky you know you maybe if maybe you download it i mean maybe you do the mod or whatever they call it upgrade whatever it is that you want to call it and it doesn't work don't blame me for it gauge one now gauge one shows you your oil pressure your oil pressure temperature and your battery vault now, i believe this two information is already in your menu right here on the vehicle information now if you don't know how to get there you have to go to all vehicle information as you can see it's right there that's that's the one it shows you oil temperature coolant my engine hours of course and all the stuff but coming back over here gauge two shows you more in-depth information intake we don't have that on the basic screen right there your menu right there that's pretty cool in your battery vault and all the stuff your all well, yeah, you do have all pressure and all that stuff. Your temperature and all that stuff. This is cool, you know. It's nice to see, and it's all functioning. You know, mine's all functioning. The guy's own was not functioning. I think it were all zeros. So I think there might have been something wrong. I don't know. It could be a sensor or a connection that he didn't have connected properly. I don't know. Engine. All this is working. It'll actually show you how much power you're running, your torque, your oil pressure, uh, which gear you're on. 
it'll auto automatically save as you put stepping on the paddle you know all this will light up so it's all working super greatly man um your steering and all that stuff i don't more i don't know too much about this i haven't played with that yet options now options if you want to change your display you can go ahead and change it um i have it set to custom and that is basically the car I had it but if i wanted to change the color say i had us a uh, white one or a red one you know there it is if i had a blue one i'll just go over to the blue one but if you had a purple one or a pink one you're out of luck because that color is not in there you might be able to get it in there i don't know i can't i can't tell you anything about that standard right here you can change your display to any one of these i think you only have three displays this is the one that original came with it once i got the mod done um then you have this one and that one so right now i'm kind of just running on that one and that's it for all the menus right there so I hit this home button, it, it takes me back here. Now, second thing it also came with, I now have the sports mode. Now the SE does not have the sports mode. The video I watched, the guy's sports mode does not work. I actually watched another video from another dude who said he faced the same problem that, um, well, he didn't face the same problem, but he had someone tell him the same thing that they got it done and the settings, the sports mode doesn't work. You know, it's like it's all fake. He drove his car. He knows that it works because it worked on him. It's working for me. Now, the sports mode is not like a huge difference, but there is a difference. You feel it. You know, you feel the performance on all that. It is different. It is not like super crazy. It, this is not a V8. You know, it doesn't have a Hemi engine or anything like that. It is a V6, so you can't expect to have super amount of torque or anything like that you know but start the car up well actually before i start the car up once i hit the sports mode right here sports bar is going to activate and it's going to let me know that the sports mode is on so click that and as you can see it says sports and it says right there sports mode is on which is cool you know and all the stuff it actually is working on my car i love it you know i've actually drove it and i'm and i'm loving it um Turn it off. Let's start the car up. This car's been sitting for a while, actually. But anyway, um, one thing I don't like is it always goes back over here. I wish it would stay on the SRT screen. This one does. If you say you leave it on the SRT over here, this will not change. It will remain on that screen until you either go back or turn it off, whatever you want to do. Um, but yeah. If you left it like that, like that, it'll when you start turn off your car, start it back up, it'll stay like that. But this one, mine is going back to that off screen or whatever I left it. If it's on the radio or anything like that, it goes back to that. Um, it does not stay on the SRT screen. SRT, I love the screen, man. It's unbelievable. I just love it. I'm gonna go to. Well, as you can see, that's changing as I'm moving in the car. All that information is changing as I'm turning my steering wheel. That information is changing. Um, gear, oil pressure, and all that stuff. I'm going to gas it a little bit. As you can see, the oil pressure is going up and all that. So go down more. All that's changing as you can see. Intake on all that. Engine, as you can see, that's working. So to the dude that's maybe he watches the video, maybe he won't. I think you just maybe might want to reinstall it. I don't know. But since there's been two complaints, it could be based on, you know, what year the vehicle is. I don't know. So I'm not quoting. Don't quote me on saying that, you know, you're going to go spend 260 to $300 and this thing's going to work. Mine is functioning, you know, and I'm happy with it. But, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys, for now. I mean... This is the recent mod I've done, man. James, I appreciate you once more, man. You know, total credit goes to you, man. You definitely hooked me up, man. Um, if you are in Atlanta, man, you're in the Atlanta area, you're in Georgia, and you wanted to get this thing done, definitely um, hit the comic button. You know, let me know. You know, I'll try and get in touch with James and see what he can do. I'm not saying that he's going to give you the same price that he did with me, but um, you definitely need to pay less than you would, way less than, than, than you would buying the device itself. Now, for me, he actually told me if I wanted to revert back to stock, you know, get it back to stock, all I have to do is contact him and um, he will turn it all back. I'm definitely thinking about getting the device myself, so just to have it, you know, just because I want to have it myself, um, but I'm not sure. I might just ride like this a little bit. 
if you're thinking about warranty, um, dealership warranty or anything like that, I can't quote you on whether it will affect. I don't think so. It shouldn't have anything to do to, to, because this is mainly displays and all that stuff. I don't think it'll actually mess with your computer or anything like that. So I don't know, you know, don't quote me on that. I did contact the manufacturer. Now this is the, if you don't know, it is a, um, taser from Z automotive. You know, it's actually been sold for two sixty to three hundred dollars. I even looked on eBay; it is still like that site, that same price. I looked at so many websites, you know, trying to find it to see if I can get it at a cheaper price. I didn't, you know. So definitely, it is worth the price if you want to get it. But if you're just trying to get just this, you know, and you are in Atlanta and um, you're not trying to spend that much money, you know, maybe uh, James can definitely hook you up. Um, but I'm not saying he will. Don't quote me on that. You know, it's always good to try, right? You know, versus paying 260 300 bucks, you can pay less and have the same thing. Um, so, yeah. Um, that's going to be the end of the video, guys. Uh, for sure, if you have any questions, I'm just going to do a walk around on the car so you can see the outside of the car, what it looks like. There's tons of videos of me doing this car, so it's kind of dark right now, so you're not going to see as much. I'm not going to walk around because I have my plate and all that stuff. But yeah, she's all black. She's got an intake, cold air intake inside of it. I haven't done anything to the exhaust really. I'm thinking about it, doing some work to it, but I haven't decided because I've listened to a lot of videos on the exhaust work that people done. And I'm just not liking it. It just sounds horrible. Some are, are decent, but most cases, a lot of them are horrible. Anyway, guys, take it easy, man. I appreciate you watching this video. If you have any questions, if you like this video, do me a favor, man. Hit that like button right there. If you have any questions, Feel free to hit that uh, comment section and let me know. And I'll do my best to answer it as soon as I can. Take it easy, guys. Have a good one. Peace.